Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode of Sonar Fishing, we're gonna talk about the new colors that Z-Man introduced in the Jackhammer lineup at the 2022 iCast show. So these are four colors that I have not been able to, I saw them at iCast, but I have not been able to actually fish myself. So these are kind of first take opinions on these colors. And uh, I'm pretty excited about them. I think that these fill some, some major voids in the Jackhammer lineup as far as the colors go and uh, I'm excited to fish them. And one thing I need to mention is these are just colors for the original Jackhammer lineup, not the Stealth Blade. Uh, and also I think all four of these colors only come in 3 8 ounce and half ounce versions at this time. So no three quarter ounce or ounce and a quarter uh, that I know of. They, they may be coming down the, the pipeline. Uh, but the very first color that I want to show you is more of a subtle bluegill imitation. Um, you know, they've, they've got plenty of different bluegill imitations in the jackhammer lineup, but they're usually darker and just brighter in general. So they've got a lot of, of real bold colors. But this one right here is called Ghost Baby Gill. Okay, Ghost Baby Gill, um, as the name implies, it's supposed to be a, a much more subtle uh, chatterbait color in general. It's got some, some really good um, you know hues to it. Got a little bit of orange, some smoke, some like light olive on the top and then the head design the paint paint scheme on that looks real sharp looks really good some some blues some chartreuse some orange uh, all kinds of stuff going there on the head and then it comes with a shiny black blade on it so overall I think this is going to be a really really good color for those situations where you want a lighter bluegill imitation um, clear water uh, summertime seems to I seem to see a lot of bluegill that are lighter colors uh, and uh, and so this is just going to be a, a really good choice when you know you don't want a dark colored bluegill imitation um, so you're seeing the bluegill or the panfish and they're they're lighter colored in general so really good uh, new color uh, I think this is actually going to be a really good one down in Florida too um, because I think it'll imitate uh, golden china pretty well too of course we already have a good golden China color in the lineup, but this one I think is also going to fit that bill too. So uh, don't just pigeonhole it for, for bluegill imitation. Shiners, this is going to play a big role too. All right, so the next color that I want to show you is a more of a shad or, or herring imitation. Um, this color right here is called blueback herring. Go figure. So it's got a lot of, of pearl, um, some, some uh, like kind of iridescent blue uh, colored strands, and then some green in there, and the head is about the same. It starts out white and then transitions into light green and, and some blue hues too. And for this one, we've got a silver or chrome nickel, uh, whatever you want to call it, blade on that. So going to reflect a lot of light. Um, this, this color right here, I think is going to be a really good clear to moderately stained uh, uh, colored water um, and going to be great for both shad and blueback herring. I don't think you're, you want to just use this for blueback herring lakes. This is going to be a really good one for a lot of different lakes. And, and what really pops out at me is those situations during the summertime where you've got a uh, algae bloom, uh, when you've got that, that nice green tinted water, the, all the, these green accents on this, this color are really going to pop in that type of, of water clarity or water color in general. So that's going to be a really good one. I'm going to be using that one a lot in the summertime. The next color is more of a, a dirtier water color overall. Uh, it's kind of a twist of, uh, uh, of one of the colors we already have, which is kind of a standard color, which is this white. Um, but this one right here is called dirty white. So it's not quite straight white. It's got a lot of white strands, but at the top here, you've got these scale pattern uh, the strands that really break up the pattern, make it more, look more realistic and, uh, and 
yeah, I mean, I, I think this is a, a, a more realistic presentation, but still very suitable for uh, both clear and dirty water situations. Uh, the thing that really separates this color from, from like the white color is the addition of this gold blade, okay? This to me is a really, really big deal because gold really um, reflects a lot of light in dirty water situations, which is, you know, a situation I'd be throwing this one a lot. Uh, and so having a gold blade on this is a big, big plus. And uh, so I think I'm gonna be throwing this a lot in you know those those times where you've got that, that dirty, dingy water. I mean, this time of year, when you've got a lot of rain coming in and you've got uh, a lot of, of mud lines coming through lakes, this is gonna be a good one to, to kind of make that this bait pop out in that dirty water situation. So dirty white, dirty water, go together like peas and carrots. All right, so this one right here is a twist on an existing color again. Um, this one right here is Firecraw. The only twist is the blade. Now we've got an orange blade. So um, same exact color scheme as far as the skirt, the body of it, um, but the blade is completely different. Instead of having that shiny black blade on the original Firecraw, this one right here has a nice bold, shi not shiny, but bold colored orange blade. Okay, so to me, this is going to be the color that you want to use when uh, you've been fishing a, 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 a um, fire craw, a traditional fire craw, and then all of a sudden you get an influx of dirty water and, and you need something that pops a little bit more. That orange blade is going to make a huge difference in those type of situations. Or, you know, if you haven't been catching them on the original, uh, you know, uh, fire craw and it's just dirtier water, um, this is going to be a really good one. Again, it's more of a, a early spring type uh, color in general. I know that, that there's some guys that, that can catch them throughout the year on, on like fire crock color, but generally I'm just using it during the pre-spawn and colder months of the year. But um, this one's gonna be a really good dirty water option for fire crock lovers. But in, in general, those are those are some really exciting colors. Uh, I'm really excited to fish them. I think my favorite out of the four is gonna be the dirty white because I really like just an original white. I like the addition of the, the scale pattern uh, strands in there, but the gold blade really sells it for me because I love gold blades on chatterbaits. I, I think that they work really good in dirtier, you know, stained water, and, uh, and that's when I usually like to throw a chatterbait anyway. So dirty white's kind of my favorite, but it's a close a close call between the, the four different colors. And I wanna hear what your opinion is on which is your favorite color and which color you're gonna be using this year. So um, drop a comment below, let me know which one's your favorite. And also, if you're interested in buying any of these new colors and, and any of the, the jackhammer colors, uh, go to 44tackle.com, but use the affiliate links in the description below. You not only get 10% off of your order, but it, it uh, kind of kicks back to me a little bit and supports this channel so i'd really appreciate it if you use those links below so anyways guys thank you for watching make sure you like share subscribe i'm going to see you out on the water